At first glance, it looks like an F-16. But the moment it takes off over the Pacific, you realize something is different. This fighter wasn't built for global wars, flashy exports, or combat headlines. It was built for one mission to protect Japan, quietly, relentlessly, and without warning. This is the Mitsubishi F-2, and why it may be far more dangerous than it looks. For decades, Japan has followed a simple rule in military aviation, defend, don't provoke. And nowhere is that philosophy clearer than in the F-2 fighter jet. Developed jointly with the United States, the Mitsubishi F-2 is often dismissed as just a Japanese F-16. That assumption is exactly why it works, because behind its familiar shape lies a fighter optimized for maritime strike, radar dominance, and regional deterrence, not dogfight glory. The F-2 was born in the 1990s, at a time when Japan faced a very specific threat environment. Not land invasions, not expeditionary wars, but air and naval pressure across vast ocean spaces. Japan needed a fighter that could detect targets far beyond the horizon, strike ships before they reached Japanese waters, operate seamlessly with US forces, and survive in a missile-heavy environment. So instead of copying the F-16, Japan redesigned it. Larger wings, advanced composites, one of the first active electronically scanned array radars ever deployed on a fighter. But this approach came at a cost. Literally, the F-2 became one of the most expensive fourth generation fighters ever built. Critics questioned whether it was worth it. Some even called it a political compromise aircraft, too American to be independent, too Japanese to be exportable. And yet, while other fighters chased speed and maneuverability, the F-2 focused on something else. First detection, first shot, first kill. In modern air combat, that changes everything. Here's the twist. The F-2 was never designed to fight alone. It was built as part of a networked battle space, sharing data with AWACS, ships, satellites, and US fighters. In that system, agility matters less than awareness. And the F-2 sees far. Its radar can track multiple air and sea targets simultaneously, making it especially lethal against naval forces, one of the most critical missions in the Pacific. What truly sets the Mitsubishi F-2 apart is its anti-ship capability. Armed with Japan's advanced ASM series missiles, the F-2 can strike enemy vessels from standoff range before they ever threaten the coastline. Its enlarged wings aren't about turning tighter. They're about range, payload, and stability over open water. This is not a dogfighter's jet. It's a precision maritime hunter. And in a region where sea lanes equal survival, that makes the F-2 strategically priceless. Today, as Japan transitions toward next-generation fighters, the F-2's legacy is clear. It proved that Japan could design advanced avionics, build large composite structures, integrate US systems without losing control. The F-2 quietly laid the groundwork for Japan's future air combat programs. It didn't need combat fame. Its job was deterrence, and it succeeded. The Mitsubishi F-2 isn't famous, it isn't exported, and it doesn't dominate headlines. But in the skies over the Pacific, silence can be the loudest warning of all. If you want the next part, where we compare the F-2 to modern Chinese and Korean fighters, make sure you're subscribed, because that story gets far more complicated.